In a previous video, we used Python Social Auth to set up authentication with social networks. It's very simple to set up and easy to use. Today, we're going to go over taking it to the next step and adding the ability to create a custom user profile object using the Python Social Auth pipeline. The pipeline is a great mechanism, sort of like a middleware, to allow going from the authorization step to creating the user object to several, a few other things that Python Social Auth takes care of. And then we can just add something in the middle of that to be able to do whatever we want in that authorization process. In this case, we're going to add a way to create a user profile object. It seems like for most cases, modifying the pipeline isn't needed, but with this video, we just want to show you how to go ahead and do that. First thing we'll do is we'll look at our user profile object, and it simply is the name user profile. The user is set to a one-to-one -one field with the auth.user. We have two fields, website and Instagram username. These will be populated with the pipeline function we'll write here in a little bit. We'll open up our settings file and go to the bottom. By default, you don't need to set anything for the pipeline in your settings file. However, if you want to modify or add something to it, you need to go ahead and add in the setting along with the requisite things. In order to be able to add our own, we'll just jump to the bottom. We'll do home.pipeline.save profile. And this basically says use the home app, the pipeline file basically, and then use the save profile function. And all we have to do at this point is write a function in the pipeline file of our home app. So we'll go ahead and open up the pipeline file in our home app. You'll see it's blank. So we're just going to go ahead and import the user profile model and then simply create a new function. The first parameter is going to be backend. This is so that we can figure out what backend is being used by Python social auth so we can check to see what we want to do. We could do something like backend.name equals Instagram or Facebook or whatever and then we'll do something specific based on that. The user is the user object that's actually going to be created for further up in the process. And response is the actual data that we got back from whatever social network we're connecting with. And then finally have args and quargs just in case there's more stuff that needs to happen. So what we want to do is we just simply want to create a new user profile object. So we're just going to do user profile.objects.create, pass in some keyword arguments. In this case, user equals user. Then we're going to do website. We're going to do response, do the user key, and then the website key in that. And then for the Instagram username, we're going to do response, the user key, and the user username key in that dictionary as well. At this point, you're probably like, what? How did you even know that that was there? Well, it's simple. I did two different authorizations. The first time I authorized, I did this print response, and that showed me what data would come back, and it just printed it out to the console, and then I could look at it visually to see what was going to happen. Then went back into Instagram, revoked my authorization, logged out on my account locally, and then reauthorized with Instagram again to verify once I changed this code that everything worked properly. So you kind of have to fill with it to get to know exactly what data you're getting back for sure because sometimes the documentation could be out of date about what you actually get back. So finally let's go ahead and take a look at this actually working. If we'll open up our browser and we'll just do login with Instagram. We do authorize. Then we just basically go back to the home page and it says now we're logged in as that user. To verify that this actually works let's go back to command line and open up our shell. We need to do an import of our user profile object and then we're just going to do a user profile.objects.get and an ID set to one. Since there's no other users on this machine and there's no other user profiles, I knew it was going to be an ID of one. From there, we can check that we have the user profile object. Also check the website, which is blank because I don't have it set on Instagram. We set the Instagram username and we have that set automatically. And then we can also verify that we have a user object. We also assign that user object and then again, verify the username was set and then that the user profile object actually has a user profile object. And then just to be anal retentive, we can do user.userprofile.instagram username and we get back the username that we had above and that's it that's all there really is to using the django pipeline system and creating something custom in the pipeline